This is not about taking away anyone's guns. I'm not here to repeal the Second Amendment. Nothing, nothing I'm about to recommend in any way impinges on the Second Amendment. But no amendment, no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. Spoiler alert, they're coming for you guys. Magnum Pack and Patriots, can you dig it? You're watching the Tap Rack Bang Show. I'm Ryan Frazier riding shotgun. With me, as always, is the tactical tackle himself, Tyler Witzke. Tyler, you Stone Cold Fox, what up? Not much. we got a lot to talk about today, though. Yeah, it's been a while, but as always, we invite all of our viewers to be a pro-gun bully today. So if you want to put saran wrap on Joe Biden's toilet seat, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bejesus out of that Liberty Bell to sound the alarm of freedom every time a tap rack bang show drops. And don't forget to visit all the links down in the description. Become a Frontline Defender member today. Uh, check out our foundation. And don't forget to get your free tap rack bang sticker. We haven't been pushing those much, but yeah, uh, they're free. we want to see more out there. Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely free. All right, so maybe we just dive right into it and just try and wrap our heads around what's been going on the past few weeks because... It wasn't that long ago that we were promising to go out to the range and do some uh, T&E on some sweet Vortex and Bergara products that those good people were kind enough to lend us for a little bit to review for you all. And then shit kind of hit the fan. Yeah, we were literally 10 minutes away from the range. And we got called back to the office to, uh, yeah, that sucks. you know, uh, put on some political heat because yeah. things were moving fast. But when you're the... The Gun Rights 911 Force, which National Association for Gun Rights is, that's just the sacrifices you have to make, and that that's what we do here. But um, yeah, when stuff like that happens, playtime takes a back seat. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> but so. uh, yeah, so all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's like the meme, you know, it says nobody, and then House Democrats assault weapons ban, HR 1808 assault weapons ban that we we've touched on before, just pops up and starts moving yeah and i i I know we touched on it before but it goes a lot further than the 94 ban it gets rid of the 10-year sunset provision yeah they aren't going to make that mistake twice no and uh the 94 ban uh had uh required two military style characteristics to ban the gun and uh this one only requires one which could be a pistol grip forward grip folding telescoping detachable stock Grenade launcher, rocket launcher. I would Damn love it. to put a rocket launcher on one of these. Who was right in that and thought that that was necessary? I don't know. We need, to, we need to make sure nobody has rocket launchers because <laughs> that's been such a plague on society. Yeah. People that thought you had chainsaw bayonet attached. Yeah. Like, the CNN. Please give me a chainsaw bayonet attachment. Right. I don't know if any company actually makes that, but I think they do. Um, be perfect for the zombies, though. Uh, it's a good a good zombie one, like it's a breaching tool. Yeah. Man, and that's it, what I need in my life is a chainsaw or rocket launcher on my rifle. But, yeah, looking at these innocent-looking blasters we have up here. Yeah, even, History. If, even if you have yeah. a barrel shroud. So, you know, something that makes the gun easier to shoot, I think they consider a handguard a barrel shroud. You know, if you don't have that, you're going to burn the hell out of your hands. Yeah, pistol grips, telescoping stocks. These are just, yeah. yeah. So, but it is what it is. Um, so it started in the house judiciary committee yep. and holy shit. If anyone sat through that, it was a <laughs> absolute kangaroo court. Yeah. Every, everyone here basically watched. It. it was just an all day event of, you know, the house Democrats just barking all kinds of nonsense. And luckily we had some, uh, pro-gun congressman in there as well to try and dispense a little bit of truth yeah not that it mattered because they had the numbers but thomas massey in there was had to basically correct uh rep Cicilline, who's the author of the bill on yeah just that, how stupid he is about everything yeah even, even the pistol bracing i'll have christian play that here in a second but that that was absolutely awful i'm sure you've seen it on our channel yeah, according to Cicilline, who is using his knowledge of this apparently to draft policy, which is what this bill is that right there on the back of Witsky's rifle or pistol rather 
is a bump stock that that makes it a machine gun. It accelerates eyes. the rate of fire. And the yeah, we, we we'll roll we'll roll that clip now. But like, just watching how dumbfounded the any all the Republicans like Chip Roy was in there too. Like, is yeah. this dumbass really saying this? And does he really believe it? Yeah. And he can and he sticks to his guns too. Even like they all admit that Massey knows more about guns than anyone in probably in all of Washington D.C. Absolutely. Um, He's trying to correct him. He's giving him a chance to like, you know, slow your roll, buddy. You're going to look stupid on the internet, but he sticks to his, to his guns. Maybe that's a bad uh, analogy, but it's, it's wild just to be that, that ignorant, but that confident about something. I wish I had yeah, that and confidence. I, it would have been nice to have like a real world example there, mm-hmm. for, but I know you can't bring guns into, into, into Congress or anything like that, but I mean... Mm. I, I think Massey just needs to treat them all to a range day and just show them how yeah. everything works, to be honest. It looked because... like he was really holding himself back to just not shake the life out yeah. of him. <laughs> the Bart Simpson show. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> right, let's watch that. Yeah. Stabilizing brace, which is depicted here, when, a, when attached here, it turns this weapon into an automatic weapon. This bumps, it becomes a bump stock. And so it will allow that to essentially be fired like an automatic weapon. That's the danger. So I have to very strongly oppose the amendment. It is not a bump stock. It has never once on this planet ever been used to accelerate the rate of fire or or simulate rapid fire. That's not what it does. A bump stock is a stock in which the firearm is allowed to move horizontally within the stock. And then the user can adjust the compliance of their finger it's still firing one round with every pull of the finger, but the fact they're using the dynamics of the firearm to help uh, accommodate that pull quicker than they might do otherwise. But what he's showing us here is not a bump stock. It, okay, do you concede that? Have you conceded it A bump it stock. Yet? Finding exactly. Yes, but your picture is not a bump stock. Her, her amendment does not, reclaiming my time, her amendment has nothing to do with the bump stock. That can't even function in your wildest fantasies as a bump stock. If they, if and when they find out that that's not a bump stock, like if they could use Wikipedia or a picture or something here really quickly to understand that she, what she's offering has nothing to do with the bump stock and it's only to do with stabilizing the the grip and the grasp of a pistol for somebody who isn't otherwise able to do that (laughs) the internet's going to help you here in about five minutes yeah so obviously that was the type of antics that went down in the um house judiciary committee um fast forward i think it was a few days maybe the next week it's all all kind of a blur now and we're just shooting from the hip here but it goes to the the floor of the house of representatives and it passes. So the first time since 1994, we have a so-called assault weapons ban. I think at this point you could basically call it a semi-auto ban. It more or less, it's a virtual ban on pretty much every semi-auto in America. Yeah. Semi-auto like, shotguns, semi-auto pistols that weigh more than 50 ounces. So this guy back here banned. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know how the weight of a pistol makes it more assaulty. I, I don't either. But again, <laughs> Is uh, the fool who looks for logic in the chambers of Congress. Yeah, it, it was pretty obvious what they were trying to do. They are trying to score political points before the election because they are moving this really fast. Oh, here. yeah, and yeah, they wanted so badly to get it through the House before August recess, which we've made it there now. But yeah, they got it through in the nick of time. No one was, no one was going home. Pelosi wasn't, you know... Yeah, I, calling recess until this happened, and she got it through because she's a master manipulator and a conniving like political you know operator. What, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? So, yeah. So the bill is on to the Senate now. Um, yeah, it's in the Judiciary Committee right now, if I believe yep. correctly. But yeah. um, it's August recess right now, so theoretically, your rights are kind of kind of safe while everyone's away. But you know. One thing kicks off and they call everyone back and we could be in for the fight of our lives. So we're we're fighting now. 
I mean, and we're I not mean, waiting. Look at what happened to the the gun control bill that passed before the assault weapons ban. You know mm-hmm. that we had fifteen Republicans vote for that. Yeah. And so at this point, you can basically trust nobody. No, and, and we had two Republicans in the House that helped Democrats pass. Yeah. The so with bipartisan ban. support, so we have an assault weapons ban. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So they were the deciding vote. Yeah. If two Republicans could have held the line. Uh, Brian, we'll call him out. Uh, Brian Fitzpatrick of Pennsylvania and Chris Jacobs of New York. Mm-hmm. Absolute backstabbers. Brian uh, Fitzpatrick and his boyfriend, Patrick Fitzbrian. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> he deserves it. I'm not taking that out. No. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Two jabronis, two punks, two rhinos. Um, but because of them, this is this is where we're at. So for those of you who want to fight back now, um, your senators are at home. They should be in your home states. Um, in your sh- districts. Yeah, check out their Twitters or check out their websites. See if they're having town halls and show up there and get them on the record saying they oppose this. Uh, you can call their district offices. It might be a lot easier to get in touch with people when they're at their you know smaller district offices. But make them feel the heat now. Don't wait for them to get back to D.C. Don't wait for them to call a committee hearing like – they need to feel the pressure so they don't even get the idea to do that because momentum is one of the hardest things to kill through this legislative process. And I think we've all learned yeah. that the hard way this year. And if we can stop any more momentum behind this bill, like that's that's what we got to do. Yeah, the, the legislative process in the United States is designed to be slow. Uh-huh. So that way, we, you know, we, yeah. we, we don't get crap like this delay but. delay delay is definitely the name of the game yep. um they have so many things they have to do before the end of the year and that's what you know sucks about the big bill that already passed this year is maybe even if we could have drawn that out a little bit longer it could have pushed congress back just enough where this one doesn't make it through before the august recess and we're not even in this position but yeah, th- th- that's what we have to deal with right now. And, and that, that's the crappy thing <laughs> right now is that they're they're playing on these deadlines. and It it, mm-hmm. it ramps up the urgency for them, you know, because yeah. the big gun or the gun control package that passed earlier, you know, they're trying to get that done before July 4th. And now it's they're mm-hmm. trying to get this done before August recess. And the fact that they did is kind of concerning to me. Yeah. And. What really pisses me off, too, like as you're describing this, is like seeing the well-oiled machine that, unfortunately, the Democrats have when they have majorities in Congress where they can get shit through before these deadlines. But you think back just wasn't that long ago when we had a Republican in the White House and Republican House and Senate and we did jack shit with it. Yeah. Like we need to get on that level with getting pro-gun stuff done. Absolutely. Um. I'm, and we've seen in the comments for a lot of our program on this that people think that this doesn't have a chance of passing. And, you know, we need to put the kibosh on that because I think that's a dangerous way of th- thinking. No one thought um, Joe Manchin would flip on the Inflation Reduction Act. But, you yeah. know, Chuck Schumer has a s- sketchy way of changing people's minds. Yeah, he's a silver tongue fox, so to say. <laughs> You called Chuck Schumer a fox. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> so. Yeah. So we're absolutely taking it serious. Um, we owe it to our members and our donors and our supporters to take this threat for what it is. Cause if this passes, like that, that's huge. Yeah. And like, I, I can't stress it enough. You need to contact your senators. I've seen in our last assault weapons ban video that a lot of you were saying like, oh, I live in New York. I live in Minnesota. They're not going to listen. Well, if more and more, more and more uh, grassroots patriots turn up the heat, they're going to listen. Yeah. And also you're allowed to lobby any senator. Yeah. There's nothing in the First Amendment that says it's only your representatives and your senators. I, you know, if you are a registered Republican, then I think that um, Mitch McConnell works for you. You're part of his constituency. He's the Republican leader. So give his ass a call. He's one of the ones who caved earlier this year on gun control. So he needs to feel a little heat, too. Uh, I agree. Yeah. But um, as we were talking earlier about the House Judiciary and Sicily being stupid about uh Pistol braces would also be a reminder that the um, final rule for the ATF's unconstitutional uh, pistol brace ban is going to affect later this month. I think it's the 24th. Yeah. So 
Honestly, I think what's going to come of that is they're just going to be a lot of Americans throwing up the middle finger and saying, fine, I'll just have a illegal SBR and I do what I want, which. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I'm not telling anyone to do that, but no, <laughs> it's, by no means, but yeah. there's going to be a lot of people that do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, sure. Shit. No one's get, I, I don't, I don't know anyone who would go out and. I guess maybe some people will register their stuff, but no one's getting getting rid of their firearms because of no. this. No, yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, but as you can see. Oh yeah, how many times have you heard "We're not coming for your guns"? Um, you know, well, everyone's paranoid. No clause. one's the grandfather cause. No one's more, no one's more pro gun than me. But all this political nonsense. But here we are today. Yeah. 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 Yep. Right here. You bought this, bought this legally, you know, in compliance with every regulation and everything the ATF and the government's ever said. Yep. And now they can just flip a switch and make, make you a felon for this. Yeah. How awesome is so, that? Yeah. <laughs> Again. Yeah. The left are, is really good at their combined operations and their multi-frontal assault, like, coming at it through Congress using the ATF, which is, you know, their gun control enforcement agency yeah. to attack us on all fronts. And that's why it's so critical to have the pro gun grassroots involved in all of these fights. Um, of course, when the numbers aren't on your side in the legislature, sometimes it's, it seems hard and daunting, but that's why we got a legal arm too. And after the awesome, Supreme Court decisions recently. We have some new weapons in our tool bag and we got lawsuits coming out of the National Foundation for Gun Rights in California and Colorado and more to come for everything. So if they don't want to play by the rules, we'll just sue their ass. Yeah, exactly. And which is why it's, you know, a great investment for pro-gun Americans to make is the tax deductible contribution to the National Foundation for Gun Rights. Tax deductible. Yeehaw. So Blast the government in the ass in a couple of ways. Exactly. I dig it. Now, politics is all one big ass blast. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, today we just kind of wanted to have a sit down, a little powwow, fireside chat, yeah. if you will, about where we stand with all of this. So we'll be ready to hit the ground running when Congress comes back from August recess. But until then, we're stockpiling petitions. If you haven't signed your no assault weapons petition, that's probably the absolute easiest thing anyone could do if you haven't done it yet shame on you it's you know what 20 seconds to do your part in stopping an assault yep. weapons ban i think that's anyone who claims to be pro-gun shouldn't be able to look themselves in the mirror if you don't at least do that um so if you haven't signed it and we will deliver it to your senators it'd be awesome if we could just have hundreds of thousands of petitions blowing up these senate offices as soon as they get back from vacation just firing that shot across their bow that this yeah. shit ain't going to fly. Yeah. And we've seen it before, you know, we blow up their fax machines or whatever. We've mm -hmm. had them disconnect their phone lines to the fax machines. You know, they've complained, mm -hmm. Oh, we're a paperless office. We don't take paper petitions. Well, you're going to take these. Yeah. So absolutely. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Um, let's, uh, let's do a little t-shirt time and get the hell out of here. What do you say? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. So we've been talking about HR 1808, all day today um and there's also a senate companion um like most pieces of legislation and i'd like to know who is this the sponsor of the senate um, assault weapons ban bill so be the first to comment below on youtube and you will win this dope ass hell no joe t-shirt for yeah. free comment below win yourself a shirt do it who else does that on youtube mm. No one that I watch. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. So come here for free shirts and yeah, and and good, good gun talk. Absolutely. Um, so hopefully, with the Congress in recess, we're going to actually be able to get out to the range. Hopefully, we don't get blasted in the ass like we did a couple weeks ago. The ass blast. We got sweet stuff from Vortex. We got sweet stuff from Bergara. We want to go play with them, and we want to take you guys along to check it out. So stay tuned for that. And keep in the fight. We'll see you next time. Yeah. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Hit that Liberty Bell so you, you're notified whenever a tap rack bang drops or any other videos from the National Association for Gun Rights. 
Don't forget to visit all links down in the description. Again, we can't stress it enough. Sign your assault weapons ban petition today. And uh, also, don't forget to get your free Tap Rack Bang sticker. It's absolutely free. Yeah. Just tell us where to ship it. Booyah, Grandma. Absolutely. See ya. Yeah. See ya.